There is a major advocacy by the Stop TB Partnership to put tuberculosis and its adverse impact on citizens' health and the country on the national agenda. The organization is seeking to revitalize the TB caucus of parliament to push the agenda. At a meeting with the parliamentary group, it secured assurances of MPs to deepen the advocacy in the national interest. Dr. Ayue Friye is chairman of the Health Committee of Parliament. We expect by the next six months or in a year to have a lot of members on the platform. Our ability to be very active also depends upon you, Dave. We need to have to work together, set agenda, get statements on the floor, do debates, and then where money, money is, we can agree to set another agenda there. From our national budget to anywhere you have potassium and explicit uh, understanding of all of us to see to us to make this sitting impactful in the lives of the of the people. Tuberculosis remains a pressing global health concern affecting millions of people around the world. National Board Chairman of the Stop TB Partnership, David Kwesiafre, wants the funding gap addressed urgently. TB funding gap is so huge. And when Doc said that HIV is five times or four times, uh, it, it, you could maybe you would think that he has $100 million and somebody has 500 is actually having less than $20 billion. And somebody is having $120 million. And so if HIV is, uh, TB is around uh, $18 million for a three-year program, and HIV is 120, and malaria is, you know, uh, malaria is 120, and HIV is 90, almost $100 million. The TV gap is just so huge that we need all stakeholders to ensure that. I'm anticipating the day His Excellency himself, when we meet him, he will make an allocation, a commitment, so uh, we have direct presidential commitment. Director of Public Health at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Franklin Esiaduba Queen, wants Ghana to catch up with other countries in terms of funding. It is the need to have domestic funding. I mean, if you look at um, India, it came in as like a prototype country. They are funding for TV is about 80%. It's like the central government is funding 80% of their cost. If you compare to Ghana, largely our funding is by a global fund. If you want to address TB as a public health problem, then we need to be able to com convince ourselves to invest into the treatment. In Ghana, the escalating number of TB cases poses a significant challenge to the country's healthcare system and its progress towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goal target of ending TB epidemic by 2030. Reporting for Joy News, Kwekua Santi.